everybody, it's Carol Murphy. How are you and Happy New Year. Let me know when you come on. I'm just doing a base face with our liquid foundation. Now this base face wouldn't be so good if I didn't do the skincare. And this month's kudos, you get the cleansing cloths. You get your choice of rose water toner. And you get your choice of a toning spritzer spray. So my name is Carol Murphy, and I'm a presenter with Unique. I've been a presenter for two years, and I love it. So let me know when you come on. If you do not see the red live button up here in the left corner, then you're on replay. And if you can let me know that you watched on replay, that will be great. I'm just going to do a base face first, and then I want to show you the stick eyeshadows and the best way that I found to apply them. So say hi when you come on. Let me know you're here. And this one is in velour. This is also close to my color. Now, if I wanted more coverage, I would put the stick foundation on top. But I used the moisturizing primer before I put this on, so that should help keep my skin moist. So say hi. Thank you for watching. I don't know who it is. If, if um, you can let me know you're on, that will be wonderful. So how are you? What's going on? Comments are taking longer. Anyway, this is the um, liquid foundation, and I love it. You hardly feel like you have it on. So I'm going to do my brows real fast. I already put the eye primer on. So we'll just use the brow palette again because I like it. <laughs> it's easier for me. But this time I'm just going to go with a lighter brown in the beginning and pick it up with a darker brown later. Sorry if the camera's shaking. So how are you? Let me know you're here. If I don't see your comments, it, if I don't respond, that's why, because I don't see the comments. So I'll look afterwards and, and comment from my personal page after that. fix that. Oops. Okay. Yeah, that's a little too much there. Oh, the spoolie will fix that. Kind of a little rough right there, so we'll just add a little lighter one there. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's still a fair brow day. I don't really like that, but we'll... Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just use... Oh, the nose is running again. So, let me know you're here. Say hi. I'll be right back. This usually happens when I go on live, huh? Okay, we're going to go with a lighter one in here. Oh, yeah, there we go. I think I finally got it done. Yay. And this one, too. Okay, 
So that's the brows. Usually they go on a lot easier. So you don't have to use eye primer with these. So, but a good base coat is always good to prevent creasing. So I'm gonna go in with Hesitant and just use a base coat. Oh, I forgot my brushes. I put them away. Here they are. One, two, three, four, five. That's a fluffy crease brush. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, so I'm going to go in, just do it all over lid with Hesitant. This is just a base coat for, um, for the eyeshadow sticks. So that's a base coat. And all over, because I don't want any creasing anywhere there. The whole eyelid there. Okay. Anyway, now, I'm gonna go in with the transition color and crease color, because there's only three. And what I'm going to do is use the crease brush. Let me get the brush cleaner here. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. But see, these are the stick eyeshadows. I'm going to use this brush cleaner here. Okay, good. So, say hi. These are the eyeshadow sticks. These were our November um, deals. Steals and deals, or not steals and deals, the uh, Black Friday stuff. So I like to apply it with a brush and it does build up. So yeah, that's the darker one. Because when I applied it with the, just applied it as a pencil thing, it just didn't work for me. I'm doing in the crease too, yeah. And above the crease because I have hooded eyes, so. So let me know you're here. Now, if you do not see the red live button, you're on replay, and if you can let me know you watch back, that will be great. I certainly would appreciate it. Then I will give you a thank you for watching. Now, I can't read the colors of these. Um, hang on. This one is energetic. Okay. I'm putting energetic on the, in the uh, crease area here. Now we'll put in the crease too. See, that is pretty. Okay. Then we're going to add dimension with the green, which is dramatic. And this is dramatic, all right. <laughs> I used this on the lid and it was too dramatic for the lid. So this is a good contour color. So I use the um, crease brush. And what I like to do is just do a little triangle, attempt a triangle, but you know me and triangles on my face. This just adds a little dimension or depth. So let me know how you are, and if I don't respond, I'll respond after watching, after, you know, I get off, or when I have time, actually. So then we'll use a little underneath here. So 
This one isn't going as good. Hmm. We will blend. Sorry if the camera's shaking in under here. Okay. Now I did forget to warm up my lash primer and mascara, so that's going to be. So lash primer, ooh, the tube is cold. And this time we'll use a 4D fiber lash mascara. With the lash primer, it really is great. You will see. So now for the highlight, or the lid and the highlight, because there's only three, we're going to use glistening. So it was energetic, genic, dramatic, and glistening. And we will use the crease brush for that. I mean, the um, flat brush, the uh, cream shadow brush. So we'll first put it under the brow. I forgot the, yeah, the dramatic is right there, yeah. Okay, energetic and dramatic, okay. And we do the lid. Now this one I'm gonna, oops, need a little more for. And this is building it up. So I kinda like a light lid. This is more of a day look, too. So let me know you're here. I know it's probably not a good time, and I'm probably going to be changing my live schedules. I have to go to the office today. And... Uh, so I'll have to see when I can do the lives. So I have to change my availability, so. Oh, that's getting there, but not quite. This is gonna go all the way. That's pretty. This is glistening, so it is a um, sparkling. Uh, there we go. Glistening has little speckles of something in it. And. Just have to glisten it some more. <laughs> See, if you use it straight from here, it goes on harsh. And I guess we could do that and, and um, then mix it. Hi, Nina. Hi. How are you? Martin. Not a grandma. There we go. And that was a stick eyeshadow. So now we use the blending brush to blend them all together. Get any lines out? There we go. Now if I wanted more dimension, I'm gonna try this, but that one's okay. This one, we'll try that.
that went up too high. See that? That's why I don't like to use the, uh, may have to get some concealer to get that fixed that. A little bit of concealer. Oh, you know what? I want to put some there, though. Just have to keep blending it. There we go. Get a little closer and move the product. Losing my mascara there. <laughs> Okay. It's almost warm, so I'm glad I put it in when I did. It's still a little too dark. I'm no makeup artist, so this is like trial and error. And I went a little more on here, so we're going to go in with the stick and just... Put it on. Yeah, I don't normally do this. I mean, I tried it once, but maybe with the green it was harsh, but we'll see what this does. Oops, I'll put it down. So, what's going on? Let me know you're Okay, I like that. That's nice, huh? Okay, good. Finally. Now, with the lash primer. Actually, what color? We'll go with the gold eyeliner. Gold glistening eyeliner. This was also a limited edition, I think. Love this. <laughs> like it, yeah. So now for the lashes, we'll let that dry a little bit and I'll do a little blush. This time we'll go with um, seductive blush. Yes. And this time I'm putting it on before the setting spray. Look at that. That's seductive. I used the wrong brush. I wanted the tapered blush brush, but that's all right. See how the hair curls up naturally? I love it. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, so what now? The lash primer. Ah, it's nice and warm now. So, here we go. <laughs> Let's see, we'll do this one first. You get the end of the lashes to part and get the front here. The new kid is awesome. It's amazing. Hi, Dorothy. How are you? Thank you for watching. 
I'm now putting on the Epic 4D Fiber Lash Mascara. Sorry about that. <laughs> Here is the Epic 4D Fiber Lash. Look at that. I applied the lash primer and you scoot up. Not going on as good as yesterday. Oh, oh, there we go. Now the first coat you just do to coat the different uh, lashes. And the second coat is boom. See that? I only do one coat on the lower lashes, but we'll finish this one up here. With the lash primer, this works a lot better for me. Look at that. It's one coat. Let me get the lash primer out. Oh, Dorothy. Sorry, you couldn't stay. Now the other eye. Are you back, Dorothy? Did you get kicked out? How are you? Okay, so that's the lash primer. And now we'll do one coat of this, then do the second coat on the other eye. This is amazing, look at that. Love that. Okay. I have to look down. Look at that. We'll finish the other eye with the second coat and you get, you go up and down, get the upper part of the lashes coated too. Look at that, that's two coats. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it, but I have to get that off here. Right there, there we go. Anyway, we'll blend that a little bit. Okay, so now the second coat on the other eye. And you twirl, you don't pump. This is a pretty subtle look too, and I kind of like it. Do the upper part and the lower part. I'm 
My friend Carrie Pollard showed me that, and now I'm in love with the 4D fiber lash too. But we have four mascaras to choose from, which is pretty cool. Look at that. Nice, huh? Boom. <laughs> Whoops. Got my finger. Fortunately, I got a towel here. We can get that off. There we go. So, I'm going to use another lippy. Um, let's try a splash. How about soulful? Let's try that. This is soulful. I like it. Soulful is my favorite. I think they're discontinuing this too, and I'm sad about that. So now we set it with setting spray. Get my coffee out of the way. So thank you for joining for those who watched and for those who watch on the replay, thank you in advance. I get my nose really good, so anyway. This is my look for today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on Monday. Take care. Bye. Have a great weekend.